Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video that I'm making. <laughs> Don't take it hard on me. I really hope you like these videos and the videos in the future. Um, this channel is definitely dedicated to art and crafts and I really hope you like that. Please, please watch my videos and hopefully like them. So, um, this is probably a little weird, but, um, this first video is going to be only information about what I do, probably paintings and stuff I've done and what I use, um, everything like that. I'm not probably going to create anything, but stay tuned for me to create anything else. Um, so let's get started. So before we head into any, um, doing any creating stuff, which I probably won't do in this video today, I want to show you guys everything that I've created. So the first one was a Bob Ross painting, which took me at least six hours to do. I absolutely love how this turned out in all. and. Really, this, I mean, this went through a lot of struggles. There was, this part, it was not, did not look like this. Originally, it was really tough, but in the end, it came out to my desire. It, in the beginning, looked very weird, and I was like, this, how is this ever going to look good? But in the end, it did come out as I wanted it to, in a few later hours, it was probably at least two hours away from me finishing and I was just already ready to give up and just say I need a break. But I pushed myself to the end and I that was probably best because I know that I can push myself to do anything that I'm looking forward to doing. So yeah, that's basically just telling everyone that if you want something to happen, then you just push for it. I have so many things that I've created um, over the years. I don't really know what to show you, but something I think I will is this. Oh, that sounded great. Um, this. I created this a long, long time ago. It is a cherry tree, kind of blowing in the wind. I did something weird, really not really weird, but it feels like it's kind of almost a comic scene, like with these white highlights, which gives it a little weird to it, because it's not a comic, comic scene, it's just, you know, cherry trees. <laughs> I think the color combination is really pretty, um, although I think I could have done some better blending at the time, I was not a good blending artist at the time. So that was pr pretty much that. Something fun just puts you in a good mood or in other cases a massage for your eyes. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But this huge, absolutely magnificently huge, I don't even know if that makes sense together like that, but painting of um, kind of like I don't know what it is. It looks like it could be sunset. It could be... Dull. I don't know. I don't... Um, this came out pretty cool. I like it a lot. I like the fall cheese. Um, this, um, although it bothers me, they're two different shades. Like my fingers. <laughs> but, um, you know, you can't really... You can't really do that. I think it might have been cool that I did that. I don't really know. Um, but there is some streaks of this color in here and this color in there so that's that um i did want to show you some watercolor stuff i do and some colored pencil stuff so we can move away from paintings so i recently have just gotten better at doing watercolor so most of my watercolors um aren't great that's because i don't have many that are great but this is one that's kind of cute it's just it's Cool because it's like has that ripped paper, splatters, and I added sparkles because you know you're gonna see that very often. <laughs> but yeah, I like how it's not perfect because that's not perfect. But when you look at this, you just say it's cool, you know, probably, and hopefully, you think it's cool. <laughs> 
so I'm just going to move myself away to the fact that I'm not going to be able to show you the donut um, watercolor thing today because I cannot find it. Yes, I know, I'm desperate to find it, but I don't know where it is. Um, I'll do some sketches. So, one that I have here is ready to be colored in is this sketch of a girl. Um, I really like it. I think it's cool, but it's so little detailed because I'm ready to do shading under the eyes and every little bit of shading, but I'm waiting on, um... Copic markers to arrive that has been taking at least three weeks. Um, I definitely ordered off them a cheap website because I'm trying, I probably will make a video of um, that. I will definitely make a video for you guys when they arrive, as soon as they arrive. Um, <laughs> they don't have a certain date, so I'm really getting annoyed. But um, yeah. So now we're on a different angle. I know I'm going to make you guys crazy. Um, I don't know what to show you, honestly. I have too many things to show you. Um, well, let's start in this. This was a drawing. You're probably seeing random stuff that you don't know what it is and probably concerning. <laughs> I found this. I'm fine. Um, this is a drawing book. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> um, I, okay. So, I know it looks weird, I know, you don't need to comment. Um, so, um, this is a drawing. Yes, I know it's a drawing. <laughs> um, so, this is a drawing of a girl I did. Um, I've had many inspirations. Um, I, for some reason, only did the lips. I only colored the lips, which was weird. I don't know why, but this is drawing paper not coloring paper, so I, that's why I only did that, I guess, and I just decided to stop before I ruined the paper. Um, so I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I use, because, you know, um, I have many things I use. Naming them, um, well, I'm not going to name them, I'm just going to show you them very quickly. Charcoal, black, and white, um, pencils. I use different types of brushes, along with painting knives for oil, which I have not used. Um, I use a lot of different ones, and I have so gratefully, hold on, flat brass paint brushes, and a palette knife, which I'm so excited about. I also use cheap painting set knife, um, paint brushes that come in little kid sets that I have from years and years ago. Little cups that I've had since I was at least three years old that I use for, you know, water. I use a lot of these Chinese black pens. Um, this is actually not one of them. It's a Crazy Art pen. Okay, so, oh, okay. I can't hold two at a time, apparently. Um, these are, like, Chinese. I can't read Chinese, but they're really cool, um, calligraphy pens. I use them for art, don't ask lots and lots of gel pens, um, clearly. More cheap, cheap, cheap pink brushes. Um, watercolors. I can't open this with one hand along, too, so. Wait, I'm opening it the wrong way. Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah. That comes with a painting brush. Yeah, I can't remember anyway, too. A high, highly obsession with watercolor pencils, <laughs> um, I, oh, okay, you're also taking a very close look at my clumsiness, <laughs> um, I figured out the other day that these are fine liners that I've had since I was at least six, <laughs> yeah, I did not know, they literally, oh, god, I need to s just have myself, tell myself that I really should be looking at stuff clear, oh, okay, I need to stop, right there is all my artwork, That's on my acrylic paint. Okay, so yeah, um, that is basically what I have for my stuff. Um, this video is probably just what I wasn't expecting. I didn't, I thought I would have more to show you, but I apparently don't. I mean, I have way tons of stuff that I did not show you. 
but that's not needed. Um, you know, I really also didn't because, you know, I might do a art tour eventually. Um, this is all, like, just starting and it's new. I might just create something for you guys for the fun of it. Just an ending thing, just... It's an intro, so you know things aren't going to happen, and you need to stop looking at my nails, so yeah. So here's me, um, like, really don't know what to do, and I realize I have an idea, but I can't do it on the drawing paper. So I start by drawing a face, which I don't know why, but I do, and yeah, I then forget to do the eyebrows eventually. I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going, playing it by ear, seeing what's going to happen. Um, yeah, so I start by doing the eyebrows and doing them really messy. <laughs> Great in first impressions. Then I start racing because I don't like it, which leaves marks like a grandma. Okay, so, <laughs> great first thing to do on your channel, I know. You don't know what this is. I understand, and I completely know what you're talking about because... It looks really weird. Um, I just want to take a moment to explain what this is because the next part I will be coloring it. I'm leaving all the facial features blank and coloring these lines in. What are you coloring them in? I'm going to be coloring them in rainbow. <laughs> That's not going to be a surprise later on. Um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Yes, I know the rainbow. Um, I left out probably violet and indigo. Wow. Um, so... Yeah, this is basically what I'm trying to make is a rainbow going across her face. Yeah, it did not come out how I wanted it to, but we're going to see. So here's me deciding on watercolors because, you know, I wanted to do um, alcohol markers, but I could not find them. And I'm still waiting on alcohol markers to actually come, which have been four weeks. Why am I relying on that website? I don't know. But here's me doing this. It looked really weird, so I decided to color that in. Yeah, great. So, yeah, I'm playing it again for you guys to look at what I'm doing. This is very concerningly weird how my watercolor skills that I don't have are kicking in. Um, yeah, <laughs> great first impression, I know. This is probably... Very embarrassing. Yes, I'm showing you again because I just want to talk about this. Um, it's like, this is probably not the best thing I should have done for my first video, but just don't judge. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll stop playing this for you because I know it's going to get really annoying like, just watching this and watching this. So this is the pretty weird final product. Yeah, that's not what I had in my mind. <laughs> so... Um, talking about this, first of all, it just, you, the thing is, I'm pretty fortunate about this, is it's weird because it's lighter where the facial features are, which are kind of cool, but then again, we love So then I found the watercolor picture I um, wanted to show you, it's my favorite watercolor piece ever, it is basically a donut, so like a multiple, um, I really like the blending that I used here. Yeah, I'm here for a very uh, long, <laughs> long process. This one, I was just, the last one I did, I was just, just end. This one, we don't need to talk about. This one, my favorite, just the realization that it's not a perfect circle. Yeah, so that was that. 